Good morning and welcome to Carnation Crafts. It is wonderful to have your company. We are here with the insanely awesome sheer delight. We've got Miss Sharon, we've got Miss Taz, and we have got some absolutely beautiful samples to show you as well as some fabulous demos from Miss Sharon herself today. You can see here, Sheer Delight is probably one of the most incredible collection. Well, it's probably the most incredible collection I've seen across the card making industry for a long time. This is spectacular. We did unfortunately sell out of it yesterday, but we do have a uh, an extended dispatch. I did that yesterday. An extended dispatch date for you, and that is going to be uh, dispatched from March the first. It's actually not that long away. We're talking what a couple of weeks. The number for that is 230205. We're hoping all the gremlins have disappeared out of the website. The best price that you can get this for today is £62.99. However, if you don't put in your discount code, you will get the show price, which is £69.99. To get it at its best price today, you need to put in the code Charlie Charlie Sierra Delta 10. Put it all in capitals, CCSD10. It's going to give you a 10% discount across anything that's to do with Sheer Delight today. Always useful to have. And that means you'll be able to put in your extended order as soon as Carnation get that, they will get it to you, which is always nice to know. We know how fast they are. We didn't quite expect it to sell out quite as quickly as it did. It flew. So that's your extended details for it. You can go onto Carnation Crafts website now, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk and you can pop in your code 230 205 and you can get the whole set it'll be with you in a couple of weeks however it's not the only thing that we've got we actually have the made with flowers collection now this is stunning um, and it fills a lot of needs which is really great for crafters it just fills a gap so what we've got here are all your letters I'll just move I'll just move this here computer business so you can see where I am You've got your full alphabets, so you're getting three full A4 sheets of dies on here. They're big. They're about eight and a half centimetres high, so they are large letters, and you've then got your lowercase as well. However, the magic doesn't stop there. The true magic of this collection actually lies in this little chap here, which is your Made With Flowers USB, and this is really, really clever, and it's a completely new concept, which I like. I like the fact that we're still pioneering. What this is, yeah, that's very glowy. What this is is a little USB, and on it, there is essentially nine full colorways. Now we know colorways from previous collections with Carnation, we know how they work, but these are slightly different. Because these florals all have little decoupage elements in them, and you can see those, are they on one of these pictures? You can just see them at the bottom here. Let me just get, there you are. All these little florals that you can see, tiny, tiny little flowers, you get nine colorways for the alphabet and those little florals also have those colorways, which means we can create incredible artwork. And the R that I was holding up to you at the beginning, which Miss Sharon will show again in a second, so you can see that, you'll start to see how that magic comes together. This is a spectacular kit. It's a full system of crafting on its own. It's one of the most special alphabets I've ever seen and how we can build it and how we can create is incredible. That's a direct dispatch, which means if you order that today, you're probably gonna get it tomorrow if you order it this morning. If not, it will come to you at the weekend, I would have thought, or actually, what day is it? It's Tuesday. Oh, in which case it's probably Thursday. All my days are muddled up. You can get this on 230201. You've got a best price today at $125.99, a show price of $139.99. You want the best price? You're going to have to use that code CCSD10. That's all capitals, Charlie Charlie, Sierra Delta 10. That's going to get you 10% discount off it. This could be in your hands tomorrow. It could be in your hands the day after. That's a direct dispatch. It's the other collection that's going to be the 1st of March. So please do shop ahead for us. Grab that while you can. And then you will also see above it, and I don't want to miss these, your perfect papers. Because with any Carnation collection, you're going to need your perfect papers. And so you want to be putting these in your basket. Now, what I will say that's important to remember about your perfect papers this time for sheer delight, the difference between these and what we normally give you, is that this runs the gambit between the Made With Flowers collection, which is your alphabet, and with your Sheer Delight collection. The papers work with the both. So the original colorway for your letters 
and for sheer, uh, your Sheer Delight collection. They're stunning colours. It's kind of somewhere between a matte and a gloss. And you're looking at having six colours, eight of each, that's 48 sheets. And these are only $14.99. You get a ton, you've got 48 to go at. Loads of mats and layers in there. $2.95 UK PMP if you're just buying those. However, if you're buying either of the other collections, you're going to get free PMP. Very quick note before we move to Sharon with the boards, just to say, if you're abroad, if you're not in the UK and you're buying these collections, you can still buy them. Um, it's just different with your shipping and handling. Obviously, it's not going to come tomorrow. If you're in America, we can't do that. We try, but we can't do that. Your PMP or your shipping and handling is going to be $4.95 for a collection. So if it's that one or if it's that one. I don't know if that would go up if you were buying both. That's something I'd have to talk to Carnation about. I don't know. But certainly $4.95 for a collection. So let's go with that. If you want to add in your perfect papers, that's going to go up to $14.95. And you can only have one pack of papers in there because obviously it's heavy, it costs. If you want to change it out for something else, pro print, something like that, let Carnation know. They'll do everything they can for you. Carnation are very, very good. That's your basics. That's your basics out of the way. I'm going to say hello to a couple of people and we are going straight to the boards. So just to say good morning to Karen, to Liz. Um, Liz says, Carla, my post is just been and everything has arrived. So happy. What an amazing company you are. Thank you so much. But although I don't know why I'm saying thank you. It wasn't me that did it, but thank you, <laughs> Pam. Then we've got Jane. Hello. Um, just got mine from my postie. Uh, Annie says, hi, Carla. Got my hoop and stand this morning. Well done, Annie. Uh, oh, it's like doing the lottery where you've all won. It's very exciting. Sue uh, says, good morning, watching whilst I in. Ooh, Sue, back away from the hot thing. Uh, Pauline, uh, Pauline uh, has arrived as well. How many of you have got it? Eileen, my doorbell went about half an hour ago. My order was delivered. Well done yet again to the Carnation team for excellent service. I wish other companies would take a leaf out of your book and offer at least 50% of the service you offer. It's their biggest priority. And the reason that other companies don't, and I don't mean this in a derogatory at all, it's just that different companies have different priorities in different places. Carnations, the customer, is the biggest priority. I know this because they have told me it again and again. Um, Annie says, can you please point me in the direction of how to do the double-sided hoop? Many thanks. Annie, I'm going to pass you to Sharon in a second. She, I think, is going to demo that for you. Linda, my order arrived this morning. Thank you. Janine, hi, gorgeous lasses. Love, love, love. Janine, we love, love, love you. Uh, Pam says, sorry, I forgot lovely Sharon. Linda, hello, and Sue and Nicola. I'm so glad so many of you got it. Listen, guys, honestly, the best fun I've had to the point where I actually ran Carnation and thanked them for letting me play with it, and that is genuine. I love this collection so much. It's incredible. Sorry, Miss Sharon, can you show us the boards? Good morning, yes. Miss Sharon, good morning. morning. <laughs> this is so exciting, isn't it? It is incredible. I love it. We need a whole week of shows because I had so many ideas. It was hard um, just narrowing just it narrow down, down to sort of six demos. Sharon came in this morning and I said to her, I said, oh, I'm really sorry, but we sold out of it yesterday. She said, I know, I watched all the shows. And she said, but I had, this was Sharon's words, not mine. I had the best time with this. She said, is this not just the most beautiful collection? And I was like, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. You're going to love it. Sorry, Sharon. Absolutely. So this first board is going to show you the different colourways. Now, where do you want me to place this, Taz? I put it at this side, Sharon. It's just put it Over towards here. me. There you go. That's better. At least we can see the <laughs> colourways on it. The black is very the dominant. The black sort of, yeah. So it plays with the lighting in here. So when we place a white sheet next to it, you can just see the colourways there. Perfect. And look at those different colourways. Um, really nice variety here, actually, I think. Um, and it's fabulous that straight away you've got nine different options in terms of colours. Um, I will go through the alphabet boards in a second and show you with the original colourway. But this is just to show you the different colourways you're going to get on that USB. Um, so that's really, really fabulous. Pretty as a picture, right? Really lovely. Really. Can't we just take that big board yes, for thank you, you, Sharon. <clears throat> Pop that right. there. And let's grab the alphabet. On the new cutting mat. On the new cutting mat. There we go. Um, so this is the original colourway. As, as we've mentioned, you've got eight other colours as well. So within the alphabet, you're going to get your letters. Obviously, you, your vignettes are going to give you the florals. You've got um, a background mat as well, which is really important with this one. If I bring in this one here, you'll see um, it really, it really helps to have that 
That is background such a mat. gorgeous example of this. The, I, I, it's this Janine's, just really shows it? it at at its best, doesn't it? Um, and this really shows the lovely little little florals that you can then decoupage up on top of each letter. Um, absolutely stunning, mind-blowingly beautiful. I'm just going to very quickly say while Sharon's there and that's in front of her, where those flowers are, those tiny ones, for those of you who didn't see this yesterday because it's a really important point about the Made With Flowers collection, those tiny, tiny, delicate, tiny wee flowers that have been shaped out there. If you've got the USB for the Made With Flowers and you've got the nine colorways all together that come, you can have the colorways for the tiny little flowers as well. But what's more important to note, and I'm sorry about this, Sharon. No. Well, you've got a little daisy here uh, and very, I don't know the names of flowers. There's a little yellow star flower. These have got names, I don't know them. The little pink flowers, they change depending on the colorway that we were showing you. So when we say there's nine different ones, there's nine different flowers as well. They're not all the same flowers. Wow. Your dyes, these dyes here, will still cut with the other flowers. So it all comes together regardless of which one you're using from the USB. That's why that concept is so blooming clever and so completely different to anything else that I've played with in that way because we get to change it every single time. So yes, you're buying one set of dyes, but with the USB in conjunction with it, you're essentially getting nine different ways, nine different dyes. That's the really clever way of playing with it. Very clever, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Let's move that. <clears throat> So with the alphabet, you are going to get the, the dies for the very small florals. You can see them here. And then if we pop back, um, I won't dwell on these because obviously you know your alphabet, and you, but I will go through them all. Mr. So you can Tuff see. does not. <laughs> I'm going to go through, yeah, read them all out. <laughs> there we go. Love them. This is the most important one. F for Sharon. <laughs> I was going to make a comment then and I didn't. I was well behaved. <laughs> and then once we've got to the end of those, we've also got your lowercase. Now, these work really well in conjunction with the large letters, because obviously if you want to, to personalise something, um, I think this collection would be absolutely ideal for Mother's Day. Really um, beautiful, right? And of course, you can you know use the smaller letters if you want to put mum or something um, and just have one big large letter with it. So... Um, really really fabulous um you'll see with these they've all got the sort of um they're very easy to join up when you overlap them so that you get that sort of um lovely script effect really, really pretty isn't it really pretty just before you move on to the other boards and while you're prepping mm. the other boards jacqueline has asked a question jacqueline can i just say because my brain is fizzy, I really appreciate the fact that you put question first because I can see it and I know my brain can answer <laughs> it. If I cut these out with my dies, would I then be able to use my scan and cut to resize? Is this allowed, please? It's not that it's not allowed. It's that they are specific sizes and your scan and cut, I don't think your scan and cut will do it because it's on the USB, there's no SVG files. So they're just pictures, they're just photographs. So you could put the photograph in it, but the scan and cut won't have anything to resize, if that makes sense. Because if you took, if each one of those JPEGs had a very dark black line around it and your scan and cut could read, I don't even know, but say it did, and your scan and cut could read that black line and lift that letter and then you could play with that. So you could play with that size and reshape it, resize it. Your vignette's not gonna match it. It's not gonna change the JPEG for it. So I'm gonna go on, I, I, I'm gonna say no, only because I don't really know the answer. There are no crafting police, have a go. Is it allowed? I don't think it's probably something that Carnation would love people doing as far as changing that's concerned. It'll come out on a USB, USB with the proper SVG files. Um, but there's no there's no cutting files on the USB. They're just they're just pictures literally. So I, I I don't think Carnation would want to say you can do that just purely because I don't think you're going to get the results you want. I hope that answers it. Uh, it's sort of one of those tricky areas. It's a grey area. So I hope that answered it as best as I can do, uh, Jacqueline. But a massive thank you for you to um, to ask for it. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't, I don't think you could easily do that. Because there's no SVG. There's no cutting no. file. No. So yeah, I think it'd be difficult. I think you'd I think you'd have trouble because there's no cutting file. Um, so you could resize stuff, but there's no cut there's no cut line for it. So I I don't I don't think so. But I that's the best I can give you. I hope that yeah. helps. 
I, I think so, I think the same. Yeah. So let's start. This is your beautiful embroidery hoop. Um, I love this concept because actually I've used real embroidery hoops with my crafting before now with die cuts um, and they're quite heavy and it using it with um, card making supplies kind of doesn't work quite as well as this. So this concept to me is absolutely amazing because it's something I love the look of embroidery hoops um, and the cleverness of using the tool with them just. Um, takes it to a whole other level. So this is your embroidery hoop. You're going to get a stand with it. I am going to, my first demo, I am going to go from scratch showing you how to put all this together. So you've got your stand. It's a triangle and it will, as you can see, fold flat for postage. Even this little shelf will fold flat. Um, you've got lots of other elements as well. You can see you've got your decorative parts to put that, put that together give that some some decorative element these are your vignettes it's a lovely colorway um, lovely sort of creams and and like a um, sort of taut color so that's really beautiful and of course you can use it with your perfect papers as well which again looks stunning it's very simple to put all of the elements together this here is your little shelf so it takes two seconds to put that together and then you've got this beautiful filigree which you can choose to use with the hoop or independently and then in the centre, you've got basically a smaller embroidery hoop. So the scale is great for different different size cards. You can use a smaller hoop within the big hoop. So many different ways of playing with it. You've even got two different options for the little, um, I don't know what they're called, the bit that sort of um, tightens up your embroidery hoop. But you've got, you can see there's a different curve on one of them than the other. Um, but as Carla explained yesterday, the point here where they connect is so fine that actually you can adjust these and make them fit either size of the hoop. So that's really fabulous. And of course, independently, these filigrees are just like beautiful nesting backgrounds. So that's that. Let me bring this out and show you how the, the dies look. Um, you've also got your mats and layers. Now, when you're putting your hoop together, <clears throat> you're gonna be using the very outside die, the largest one for the outside, and then the very inside one that's going to give you your hoop itself and you're going to cut two of those and sandwich a tool between. Um, we'll explain a bit more of that when we get to the demo but that's the concept of it but you've actually got three layers there so when you're mat and layering perhaps if you're just using the filigree on its own that's where that's going to come in. <clears throat> then your florals, stunning mix of florals. I um, I'm a floral girl, I'm always into the florals. Um, love this big, looks, I'm, I'm as bad as Carla with flower names, but I think this looks like maybe a dahlia or something. Um, three layers to that. Um, if I bring this one back in, because this, this really is the perfect example of how these work together. You've got your big florals, which are gonna be your focal point, and then you've got florals to build around, and they're kind of designed to work with this shape. Um, because actually when you've got a circle, you do need a bit of curve to your florals because otherwise they're just gonna look very odd. So you'll see straight away that the curve is there. So you can shape them around the outside of the hoop. Then you can layer them up. You can decoupage these. You can really go, go for depth with these. Um, and you've got a lovely selection. Of course, this is just one colorway because you've got nine in total. Um, and you'll see you've got all the small elements as well, which you can you can choose how you want to put them. So that's your florals, really fabulous those. Let's move that back out. Next up, you've got a whole party here, really. Um, what I love about this, and this is probably where the ideas come in, because I think the embroidery hoop, the letters and the flowers are a collection on, the, on their own. And now you've got a whole other collection here, really. You kind of, Party turning time. it into yeah this is a party this is definitely like a rustic wedding i feel um, just missing a buffet it is yeah nice buffet <laughs> um so many different ways to use these you can really build a scene within your hoop or these are great to be used independently just on your card fronts with your nesting dies um these work really well on the hoop these lovely little floral displays you've got this like shepherd's crook to hang that from of course you can snip that away use it in different ways these are really useful. These can be a grounding device. These can be shelves. They work really well actually with um, some of the other elements like the lantern. 
This longer one actually works really well on the stand because if you want to, where you've got the two side elements to the stand, um, I haven't got one to hand to show you, but this will cover up the front of the stand nicely, give it a completely different look. Um, and as always with Carnation and Nick's artwork, they're so realistic looking. Just those two dies on their own are, are, are amazing. So you've got two different size sort of hanging florals. You've got a lantern, you've got a lovely candle as well. This is um, this works really well in so many different ways. It can be, um, you can pop the candle in there, but you can also create um, all sorts of different um, scene building with that one. Then bunting, you've got all your different bunting styles. This chair is really useful to sort of ground things, create a scene. It's got some good height as well. You can pop your box of chocolates on the chair, your flowers, this lovely little bag, which could have anything in it. Um, so lots of different ways to play with this set. Um, and this is another set that's gonna work so well with other things. The balloons are great. This string that the balloon's on is so fine that you can shape it and curve it. So you could have balloons tied to the back of the chair to create a scene. They can be tucked in behind things. Lots of different ways to use these. And the scale of them means that you can really play around with them. Then we've got our lovely champagne. I like the fact it's in a nice gift box. <laughs> Um, the glasses are lovely, actually. The detail on these, they look, the, the way the, they've been coloured, they look like those glasses that have got that lovely iridescent shine to them that you buy. Mm, that's fancy girl. <laughs> they're lovely, aren't they? And they, I, I like the fact they're full as well because uh, <laughs> no one wants Not an empty, full enough. No one full. wants an empty glass. <laughs> so I'm loving that. You've got your mat and layer as well to put them on. Um, again, another great scene builder. You can create a totally different look with these. They're going to work, obviously, with the, the collection we've just looked at with all the party elements. Um, but these would work for so many occasions. Really, really fabulous, that one. Then we've got our birdies. I love the fact you've got two different birds. Of course, don't forget with carnation, you've got the mirrored vignette option. So you can have these birds facing either direction, which is fabulous, um, particularly you want two sort of looking at each other. These would be great for Valentine's. Um, they'd work really well with those champagne for a bit of a scene as well. Um, and this one works so well because you can see the curve there. He works so well on the edge of the embroidery hoop um, to create a scene with your florals. So, and then again, another really pretty, useful set. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Isn't it an amazing collection? It's it's just one of those that's breathtaking, isn't it? When you look at it and you go, oh, that's that's a thing, that's a thing. As soon as Carnation released the advert for this, obviously everybody just went nuts for it. We knew it was gonna go fast, but we didn't quite uh, anticipate what happened yesterday. But it, you don't know what, guys. It's brilliant. There's so many on you of you on here saying that you got yours this morning. That's incredible. We launched yesterday and you've got it in your paw right now. That's incredible. The number for this is 230205. It's on extended dispatch. That is for this collection here, which is Sheer Delight. Uh, it'll be dispatched on the 1st of March. It's not very far away at all. It's 6299. Uh, if you use the code CCSD10, that has to be in capitals, CCSD10. That will take you 10% off. I got to tell you though, that is only while we're on best show price. There will be a point, and I don't know what that point will be, where this will go back up to its proper price it's the price that it will then live at on the website so this is a special price and it will go to 110.95 so the savings you're getting today are extraordinary that's carnationcrafts.co.uk i will also say we have the made with flowers collection as well which are your alphabet letters and this weird little concept that's new and beautiful that comes with all of your uppercase and your lowercase and that incredible USB. And that sits on the Carnation Crafts website at the moment. Uh, 230201, special show price, 125.99 if you use your code CCSD10. If you don't, that's gonna come in at 139.99 uh, without the code, but it's gonna go back up to 172 pounds 97. That is quite some saving you're getting today. Remember to put in your perfect papers. Now, the other thing that we haven't talked about, and I will talk about before Miss Sharon starts demo so you know where we're going with it, your chawl. So this is what we're going to use in order for you to create those floating cards. It's incredibly special. It's a beautiful, soft concept. This is 30 centimeters by 24 meters. So it's incredibly long. It's one long sheet. You cut as much as you want. That's very specifically done instead of doing it in sheets. So you can build what you want to build and you can use your excess on other shapes. 
So you've got lots of ways of playing with it. Uh, it's a massive pack, I have to say. When you take it out, it's, there's so much in there and you're able to cut as much as you want. This is at the moment on the website, 230211. And it's a show price date of $14.99. If you only buy that, you're gonna pay only $2.95 P and P on it, just to let you know. And I've got Miss Sharon, no, I've got Miss Tab. Miss Sharon's over there, Miss Tab, <laughs> pointing all of the things at me. She's pointing at me and making me do things. So, there you go, Miss Taz. Does that make you happy? Just while she's trying to find this on the camera, I will say that when the advert starts at the beginning of the show, Miss Tiz Taz has a silent disco all on her own. We can't hear the music, she can. <laughs> and she rocks out for a good five minutes. So looking at this, where you've got those beautiful daisies, those gorgeous concept flowers, which are just stunning. And then the beautiful E from that made with flowers alphabet. Now, what this, what, the reasons why these are special is because you'll notice we're not using the embroidery hoop here. We're taking it through to your crafting for nested dies. Get your dies out. Play with all the different shapes that you've got. The embroidery hoop is incredibly special, but it's not the only way to use this collection. And that is why things like this are so important. Really, really pretty. Fabulous, that one, isn't it? And I love that when you think about it, any nesting dies bec can become a frame. So you can do any shape you like with the tool in the middle. It's clever. Um, this card, I just adore. Um, the depth of it, the, the way that the florals have been not only built up, but curved. The way they drop down the side of those um, mats and layers is really just pretty, isn't it? so clever and so beautiful. They frame the circle really beautifully. Um, the depth and the way they curve over here, it's probably hard to see on camera, but in real life, um, the layers, look at you that. can see, look at that. It I mean, just, remi just it reminds me of Under the Sea. Yes, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's so pretty. Um, and then having the tool in the middle of that frame just gives it something extra, doesn't it? Even the bird is kind of peeping in. He's looking in at his friend on the back of the chair. Um, and I love the way that the sentiment's been put inside so that when you open it, you've got another little spray of florals um, and your sentiment. So... That is just a, such a beautiful card. Really pretty. You can go in for your super simple here. If you're brand new to card making, if you've never made a card before, these are super easy. It's just one main topper layer. And all you're gonna do is cut three circles, use some foam tape to build some different, use those florals to your advantage. They're so pretty. And that can be a present because you can put it in a box frame. So it gives you alternative uses as well. Absolutely stunning. You don't need to be you know, some kind of intermediate or advanced crafter to use this collection. You've got all the tools you need to just start simply and create something stunning. Miss Sharon, have you got another? I have, I've got one with the hoop and this one isn't using the tool actually. They've used the that lovely filigree instead and it just creates a lovely backdrop for this is really a whole party on a shelf we've got going on here. So you've got this lovely little shelf. I love the pastel look of this bunting. I think this would be lovely on new baby cards and, and lots of other things. Um, and they've layered up all of the party elements on there. The sentiments nestled nicely on top of the little shelf. Um, and it's just a really pretty card. Really stunning, absolutely. Mm. I mean, the choice of having filigree or not using it is a really yeah. beautiful thing as well. But don't forget, you can use your other shapes. You can go in simpler forms. So we can use little nested, that's your uh, petite heart uh, frame there as well. And we can use that in different ways. You can cut from the centerpiece with a, another another die in order to cut your trawl from the middle. Really pretty, choose your different elements. Make sure you're building in your different uh, dynamics. You don't have to have it all centrally. It can all be beautiful in all different ways. That's the joy of this. Now, Miss Sharon's just getting ready for a demo for us. While she's doing that, I'm just gonna have a look. One of the questions that I saw on here earlier was, do we have solid colors to cut your made with flowers alphabet out? It's just a die. So actually, if you bought the Sheer Delight Perfect Papers, or if you happen to have some of our blush papers, something along those lines, then you would be able to cut them from those. So pretty much any color paper that you want to, that would give you a solid piece. I don't think they'll have vignettes for just solid because it is that floral concept. So just cut from whatever you need it to be. They're not actually, if you, I can't really explain. Hold on, Sharon, while you're just setting up, let me just show you this. <clears throat> They're not straight edges. So where you can see those letters, 
and you can see the outside part of that, that letter itself, they're wibbly wobbly because they're not straight. So you'll still get that shaping on it. I just want to be open about that so you know it because they are designed to be with the florals. They're not necessarily designed to just be straight letters. Carnation have a gorgeous selection of different alphabets for us to use. If you did need straight edges, that's something you can explore on the Carnation website. And just one more from Eileen, because it made me laugh. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry to bang on, but the customer service is so good, I half expect to have my orders in my hand before I've even ordered it. <laughs> Sadly, customer services lack the ability of telepathy as I forgot to order my perfect payments. <laughs> oh, Eileen, get them ordered, because they are so pretty. They're like, um, it's like sugared almonds. And they're really pretty for Easter colors. There's a really nice, there's a really nice crossover between spring Easter and summer, as far as card, you know, card sort of making is concerned. Weddings, it's got that really beautiful sort of tone to it. So that is all there on your perfect papers. Miss Sharon, as they call you in the other parts. Miss Sharon, <laughs> Sharon, are you ready? For I am demo? ready. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I know Carla did the same yesterday, went through it from scratch, but I think it's important for the first demo to, to start with the basics, show you how to put it all together. Um, and how the concept works because it, that's your base point really. So um, Carla did a fabulous demo with this yesterday. So you'll have the choice of two to watch back um, when you actually come to make yours. So the first thing you're gonna do is die cut three of the little pyramid bits for your stand. Two of them, you're gonna fold the first one with the little notch out the top. That's gonna be a mountain fold. The other one is going to be a valley fold and you're going to do that on two of them. While you're just folding those, I very quickly yep. stay, stay there, but while, while I'll glue those Carnation while Crafts yesterday released a video on their social media with a full outlined uh, video just on making the stand. It's there for you go to Carnation Crafts page. That video is there for you to take a look at whenever you need to in case you need it for this. I'll be totally honest, the stand's really easy to make, but your first walk through it's there on that video. You don't have to come sort of rooting for a specific point. It's on their page. Yes, I saw that. It's really handy, isn't it? Because you just it's just the first time you do it. Once you've done it once, you've got it really. It's not it's not complicated. So that's my first one. The other one, you're not gonna do the second fold, you're just going to the mountain fold because this is your front panel. So once you've done that. You're going to pop them all together. Now I've used everyday glue just for speed and I haven't done that very straight but it will be straight enough. Um, I think for these I might use tape just because it's a bit quicker. So it slips and slides a little bit with, with PVA doesn't it? If you've yeah. got time to hold it it's absolutely When you're not in a rush I, I think um, PVA is probably better because it gives you that you can jiggle it about a bit and make sure you're straight. But for us here what I, what I did at home actually was I did a bit of both because near the top it's too, um, it's too fiddly to get your tape in there. So if you just put a bit of both. So this is going to be my front. So I just need then to line up like so. So many people have got those. It's so exciting. Sharon, chuffed to bits, ordered 11 a.m. yesterday and arrived this morning. Wow. Let's glue both of them at the same time. There we go. So if you're thinking that's your front, my, I'm not doing this the right way, am I? Hold on. Oh, I've done it a million ways the wrong <laughs> way. That's why we need Carnation's video. You do. Just you do. to let you know that Sharon is using Carnation's Everyday Glue, and you can find that on the Carnation Crafts website at www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. This is, this is How to make where you it get look to a model. This is why we have the little video on Carnation, because it's actually not a complicated process. You've got to remember, long on top of short each time as you have go I around. Done those? Long yeah. on top of short is yes. the easiest way to remember it, but getting your brain out your physical there we point. Go. That's... so it's your first time of doing it is the bit where you need to pay attention to the video that is on Carnation's we website go. and then it just tucks in perfectly yeah if you if the long in top of short is the is the best thing to remember because you'll want to cover up that notch basically so there we go I just had it the wrong way around 
it's easy done because your instinct probably is to go short on top of the long, but you do need long on there top of shorts go. each time. That'll make sense to you when you are crafting with it. Yeah. Um, so start with mountain and valley. And then if you just think about the fact you're going to be covering that little notch each time and your flat panel is obviously the front. So once that's done, that glue will just take a couple of seconds. You've then got your stand ready to go. Now it's up to you. I actually put some glue inside this back piece and, and kept it rigid like this. It depends whether you're posting it or not really. Um, you've got options. You can keep it as it is like that, um, or you can pop some glue and make it really solid because you can still fold it flat like that. I would recommend just gluing it. You're gonna make it nice and solid if you put glue inside as well. Did you do that on yours, Carl, or did you leave I it like this? I halved and halved on mine, to be honest. I like the idea of creating it so it's solid because I like, it's a little bit, if you think of it in town, can you remember the old school photos that we used to get when we were kids? I'm not talking about the, yes. modern, the modern ones, but the old ones where they had the little pointed stand at the back. Um, so it, it, listen, as soon as you start to glue that together, what you're actually doing is creating something that is 480 GSM. If you go on the basis that you've printed it on a 120 Pro print, because you've got mirrored vignette, that is then a 240. And then you're doubling that up by gluing those together, you're going to a 480. That means you're going to have the strongest stand ever. Like that's not giving. So long as you can still fold that back stand, then there's literally no reason why you should or shouldn't glue it. It's up to you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I feel it feels stronger if you glue it, but yeah, um, absolutely up to you. So once that's done, this piece here is gonna become your little shelf. It's got score lines on it. So all you've got to do is fold it on itself to create a little box, basically. Um, we've had this concept on quite a few different dies, haven't we, with Carnation? Yeah. So you're probably familiar with this. He's very good at coming up with construction dies. It's it's one of Nick, well, Nick's got many yeah. skills, but it's one of his really great thought processes is, is engineering. So things like this, where it makes our life so easy and we kind of take it for granted, actually the thought process behind it is just so cool. The yeah. fact that you've got that space in between. So any shaped card that you've got will sit and will be held because what Nick could have done in theory is made one long line across that center point and it would have held the circles, but it would never have held a diamond. It wouldn't have held a heart because yeah. you need that point to go somewhere. Yeah, so you the need fact that, that gap. He's, yeah, he's thought it through. It's given us extra play way. And then, well, that's just gonna fit on there. Now it depends what you're gonna be putting on it as to where you wanna put that. Also, if you're gonna add your little decorative panels, these are gonna slot on here. So that might also affect where you want to put your shelf. Um, for the um, the embroidery hoop, I think kind of towards the bottom works best. So we'll pop that on there. And I'm just going to use some everyday glue on the back of there. There we go. So and clever. Just kind of eyeball to get it central. So that's your stand. And of course, this stand is going to work for so many other cards as well, not just your, your hoop. It's just a really useful stand, isn't it? It's a really clever piece of engineering there. I've got so to tell you, if, to you're, if you're doing craft fairs, those stands are yes. going to be an enormous boon for you. Whether or not you're just displaying Carnation or any other cards, just as display stands, they yes. are awesome. I will say this, if you're going to use them as display stands at something like a craft fair, that's when you need to start gluing them like Sharon just did, because that's going to give you the ultimate stability on them. Not to say that it wouldn't have, but if you're sending it to somebody and they're just putting it out, lovely. But if you want that really, really solid, go for the glue on the inside. Sharon, I'm just going to very quickly interrupt yep, you just before point. you go any yep. further. If you're going to be putting tulle on that, I learned yesterday, you can't see it on the glass cutting oh, on board because it's so yes. fine. My advice to you would be to just lift your glass cutting mat and put it on here for a couple of seconds until you've actually attached your tulle. And I'll say the same to you guys at home. If you're trying to work on top of a white surface, the tulle's white and it's also see-through. It's a netting and you can't see it on top of a white surface. Yes, I lost mine quite a few times. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I had to want to attach to a jumper at one point. Do yourself, do yourself a solid and just put it on a different colour so you can see where you're sticking it. Because I came a cropper yesterday. It's just, we learn as we go, don't we? Yeah, because it is it's so beautiful. Um, 
Now, I know Carla did cover this yesterday, but the tool, um, in terms of die cutting, more layers the better, actually, um, because it is so fine. I use a Sizzix Big Shot Switch electric machine. I did about five or six layers at a time and I found that worked perfectly and it die cut beautifully just with my standard cutting plates. I know with some electric machines they, they give you a, a metal shim for fabrics so you'll probably want to go with that option if that's that's the sort of um, recommended thing for your machine but it does die cut beautifully um, and it, it um, fits perfectly. The die you want to use is the kind of middle one. So you've got one die that cuts the outside of the hoop, one that cuts the inside. The one in the middle is the one you use for this, because if you use the same size as the outside hoop, you're bound to get a bit sticking out somewhere because lining it up is tricky. So using the middle one means you're going to give yourself a much easier job in terms of lining it up. So to glue it together, what you're going to do is just put a few dots of glue around one of the hoops on the inside. So you don't need tons. I re this is uh, totally away from carnation, as ridiculous as that sounds. Their everyday glue is literally one of the best on the market. It as is. far as sticky is concerned, it's got enough wiggle room for me to play. And I was trying to experiment with some other glue, bizarrely. I was a traitor to carnation. Um, but I had some PVA and I was, it's not the same. They're not all built equal. It's so stupid, but they're not. And you get so used to, I'm so used to working with their everyday glue that I don't think about any other PVA because it's pretty much the only one I go to now. But then to have to use a different one and suddenly go, do you know what? They're not all built equal. They're it's not, not the same thing. I, because I do work for various different companies, yeah. I, I've used a few different ones. Um, this is definitely a bit thicker. Yeah, it's got less water in it. It's got a low water content. And so it's get got that. a great, um, it's got the perfect grab, hasn't it? Yeah. Because it grabs relatively quickly. So you're not sliding about and, um, you know, even got to wait ages for it to dry. But it, um, it gives you the wiggle room you need. Now, I'm only adding just a couple more tiny dots on top of that. Because, of course, the chill is kind of, kind of um, open the glue is going to seep through and that will be enough but I'm just adding a tiny bit more just to make sure and then all I need to do is pop my other piece on top and of course the glue will give me enough wiggle room just to make sure that's straight and lined up and then I'm just going to work my way around and press that down now my tool is nicely sandwiched in between the two and it's a great base for me to start my crafting. And that will sit perfectly on my little shelf once I've decorated it. So let's bring my mat back in. And I've die cut one of the letters. So that's gonna be my starting point. Now I've done the letter J, which is my mother-in-law, not that I'm uh, using this demonstration to make my Mother's Day cards or anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> isn't that so... Listen, guys, when you use a solid colour, isn't that pretty? It's lovely, isn't it? Um, I didn't go crazy, actually. I haven't experimented with the different colours. I've, I've just used the cream from the Perfect Papers, but actually it would look lovely. Um, you can pick out any of the colours because, of course, the Perfect Papers are always designed to work beautifully with the artwork. I was thinking last night, because you're using the chul, how lovely would this be to create an embroidery hoop where you've got your chul at the back, keep that where it is, but take another piece of chul, possibly another circle, and ruch it. Uh, so crush oh, it, basically. Yeah. Put that across one side, glue it to the piece of chul that's underneath, and start ad adding elements from coastal currents. So you've got that beautiful nautical theme coming through with that used as your fishing netting. It would be so pretty. There's so many ways you're going to play with this. I love it so it's much. It's just ideal for a nautical theme, isn't it? Isn't it? Really pretty. Um, and of course, you could experiment with other things other than the chill. Um, What's acetate's the... a bit glary, isn't it? But um, vellum I... would be quite nice. Vellum would be lovely. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think... I. Listen, we all craft in our own way. For me personally, I don't think vel uh, acetate is the way to go with this collection. No, I don't. The glare it's was soft. kind of spoil it. It's really soft. You know, it's like putting, it's like putting on your finest, finest, most delicate ballerina outfit and finishing it off with a pair of Doc Martens. 
Yeah. You know, you just need, just keep with the soft. It's very pretty. You don't I need agree. acetate. I agree. Um, vellum might be nice, but yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, acetate vellum could would be, be too shiny. The only thing I'll say about vellum is if you're, certainly if you're using it as a topper, you're going to have to be aware of glue marks because it will show through. Yes. Yeah. Tell you what it would be nice with though. If you did two of the hoops mm. and you put vellum on the top one and vellum on the bottom one, actually you could do, yeah. and put tiny lights between the two. Oh yeah. And held them down with foam tape. And then you could even shadow play because you could yes. put something behind the vellum on the top layer and have a shadow play. That would be stunning, wouldn't it? Yeah, really I'm pretty. Enough, enough Look at on that. Let's push that down for a second. I kept panicking yesterday that it would stick to my glass cutting mat. It yeah. doesn't, by the way. No. Isn't that pretty? Um, you could, if you wanted to, put another die cut behind to, to neaten up the back as well, if you wanted to, a mirror image. But I don't think it really needs it. But if you wanted to go that step further, you could. Um, now, I'm keeping this quite simple in terms of decorating because for this demo, I re it was really more about showing you how to put it together. So I'm just going to go with a simple sort of floral spray in this corner. And I'm using my ball tool just to go around the edge of one of these big florals. I think those florals are going to become your best friend. That one that Sharon's using at the minute is literally, I think, one of my favourite florals they've ever done. It, I, it's gorgeous, I could, isn't it? I could have used it again and again and again. Uh, hold on, Miss, Miss Janine say, hold on, everybody pause. Miss Janine saying something. When using vellum, our foiling glue gives a no smudge finish. It's fab. Janine! Oh. I love yes, you, Janine. Thank you. Of course you. it would, yeah. When using vellum, our foiling glue gives a no smudge finish. It's fab. Sharon, just carry on doing what you're doing. I'm going behind oh, your head, dude. Thank you, Doke. Oh, you've got some there, haven't you? Yeah, what Miss Janine is talking about. Sorry, Sharon, just while you're sticking those flowers on, are these. They have a kit, Carnation have this, where you've got imitation gold leaf. So you've got the gold, you have got the silver, and you've got the rose gold, which the rose gold always sells real fast because it's so pretty. It's and my then fave. It is. Gold. Then you've got the foiling adhesive, and they sell sponges. I don't think I've got my new ones here, but they have just released new ones, which are super pretty sponges. I mean, they're just pretty, but they're all on the Carnation Crafts website as well. So if you want to use foiling in this, that would be pretty as well. There's so many ways of playing, right? The fact that we've got options all the time yeah absolutely so many different ways um it's funny when i when i got this collection my brain just went in so many different directions that i didn't know where to start because i i had more ideas than yeah. than demos that i wanted to do <laughs> so in the end i had to get a notebook out and then i was i, I actually had a word with myself i was like sharon one thing at a time one <laughs> one card at a time I made, I think I made 25 demos and I could, I literally could have crafted for another three days. Actually, it's the, listen, I tell you what it was. I stopped feeling like I was making demos and I just felt like I was just crafting. It was the most glorious day. Yeah. Yeah. There's a too. collection, Miss Taz, that's got a ballerina on her tiptoes and she's trying to reach onto a dressing table. And there is like a curtain scene in my head. Ballerina tiptoes. She's trying to reach onto a dressing table. Unless I've made it up. I'm pretty sure I haven't made it up. <laughs> These just fit perfectly. I think she's trying to get lipstick off a table or something in my head. It was a, it's an older collection. But you could make, you could use the chawl for her skirt. You could add little bits onto her skirt to make a little tootle. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? Um, and I love the fact that you can create a frame from any nesting dies. So really, um, you can just... Jane Foster says, little girl reaching up. The ballerina is a mouse. Jane, you are very, very true. Uh -huh. Oh, Carnation, have very ha thank you, Carnation, have put a link up uh, from what Janine was saying to the foiling adhesive on the website. Thank you, Carnation. Fabulous. Now, I've got all my flowers here in a little pot. You've got decoupage layers as well for several of these, which I just really love. So this one can layer on here. 
give you a bit more depth to that. Um, I'm not going to go crazy on this one. I'm just going to add a couple more to this top to balance that out. And then I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to overdo it. And really, the focus of this one was just to show you how this goes together. Um, the other thing I will show you quickly is about the letter and how those lovely small florals will work on there. So I'm just going to leave that there for the top, just so it balances out this bottom corner a little bit. Um, if you want to then go in on top of your alpha letter, I've stuck all this to my neck now, haven't I? <laughs> um, <laughs> your small letters, small letters, small flowers, Look at those. will fit beautifully on top here. So if you want to go in and add more depth here, you absolutely can with all these beautiful small florals. Carnation, um, while you're listening, can I request that you create a beautiful pink pickup tool for us to be able to pick up our flowers? Yes, because I've got my pickup tool with me. To add to my but carnation station. We need a carnation. Station. We need a pink one. I love my carnation station. There we go. Um, I won't do all of them because I'll probably do some in another demo, but that, that gives you a good idea of how that all goes together. And I'm not going to try and lift it up because I've pretty much stuck it to the mat. <laughs> a little bit fancy, Miss Tiztaz. You're amazing. Thank you. Ah. Two, 200712 if you want to go and have a look at that, guys. But there's some ballet themed in it. But there's a curtain. I'm pretty sure there's a curtain. And that would be really beautiful with the tulle on as well. So don't think it's just for this. Obviously, once you've got that home. Because there's scraps. So use your scraps. Don't bin them. And you can use them in loads of different ways across your collection. This is uh, Sheer Delight. And as we know, it sold out yesterday. It went very fast. But Carnation have managed to get us extended this, this, this batch to the first. I can't say that. To the first of March. So it's very, very soon that it's coming to your door. The number for your extended dispatch is 230205. Price today, $62.99. That's going to go back up to £110.95 if you decide not to take advantage of the offer today. We can't guarantee that price. Obviously, it will go back up. You're going to need to use a code, which is CCSD10. CCSD10. You need to put that in capital letters, otherwise it won't work. That's going to give you 10% off your order. You're also going to get free P&P in the UK because it is over £50 in the US, as we said, or, or anywhere else abroad, actually, not just the US. Then you will have a different shipping and handling fee, which will be £4.95 for the full collection. It will be £14.95 if you add in your perfect papers. Talking of which, your perfect papers are also part of this collection. I'm going to put them in the middle because they actually work with both Sheer Delight and the Alphabet collection as well. Your perfect papers are 230212. You're going to get six colours. You're going to get eight of each, so that's 48. It is 300 GSM, so it is a cardstock, not a paper. That's two ninety five if you just buy it on its own because it's under the fifty poundage. But if you're buying it with the rest, it will all come together on that free P and P. Then we've got your uh, your help made with flowers. Who all the fizzy <laughs> made with flowers collection? Please remember, this isn't just a set of dies. It's not just you know a, a, an uppercase and a lowercase. Uh, set of alphabets it is actually to do with the usb that comes with it that's your key point it is completely different yes you're getting the dies but that usb is as clever as a fox it is so good you're going to find that 230201 it's got all your different colorways on there you are going to be at play forever with that alphabet show price today 12599 but you are going to have to put that code of ccs hold on ccsd10 in capital letters to get your 10 percent discount it's going to go back up to 172.79 no 172.97 so you need to be fast with that carnationcrafts.co.uk last shout out for this is going to be your tool which has got a show price today of 14.99 that is for a massive length of tool it's huge uh, 24 meters a meter is the same size as the tip of your nose to the end of your middle finger that's a meter you've got 24 of those that's 14.99 that's correct touch your nose over to your the, the tip of your middle finger that's a meter my mum was an interior designer that's how they do it in shops they pull it but my oh. yours. dude it's a meter i promise you Go and, go and look it up on the Tinter web. It's just the way it works. They do it in shops. That's how they work your meters out. You're getting 24 of those. It's a whack and great big piece of chool. 14.99, 230211. Uh, carnationcrafts.co.uk. Please also go to the Carnation Crafts 
page where you're going to get lots of inspiration uh, to look at things like how to make the stand. You'll get loads of information on what's coming up. Most importantly, please go to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you know when we're going live next, which as it happens, will be in an hour. So we're gonna come back to you at one o'clock. Now the next show is going to be demo heavy. So Miss Sharon, I'm gonna challenge you to three demos in one show. Yep. We'll go a lot faster in the next show because obviously you've seen the boards. Mm. We're going to be demo, 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 demo heavy, but that's in an hour. We need a bite to eat and we're gonna get a coffee and then we're gonna be back with you. In the meantime, please enjoy your lunch, stay safe, take care, and we will speak to you in an hour. See you soon.